My name is Dr. Verna Cornelia Price, and for many of you watching this video, you are thinking to yourself, she looks familiar. Um, and that is because I'm the co-founder of the Power of People Leadership Institute. My husband and I, Brother Shane Martin Price, have been doing work with the Department of Corrections and doing our Power of People program for 15 years. So many of you have even seen me and or have been in our classes and or have worked with my husband. And you know that you are in good hands with us because we see you as family. Uh, many of you also probably have either, either read my book, the power of people four kinds of people who can change your life and or have been talked to about this book and or have sent this book to your family and i keep saying family because this conversation i want to have with you this morning is really about family i am talking to you like i am a mom a sister um a, a friend a family member about a really really important topic and the topic really is about the covid 19 vaccination and in my conversation with you, here's what I want you to know. I did not want to take the vaccine at all, not whatsoever. Now, for those of you who know my husband, um, you know Brother Shane Martin Price was right on it. And he was right there to say, sweetheart, um, it is time for us to take seriously look at this vaccine. We got to make sure that our pop guys, and for those of you who've been on our courses, you know what that means. You're a pop guy. That our pop guys are safe, that they're protected, that they're, that they're healthy, that their families are healthy. And so we all have to come around and make sure that we are taking care of ourselves and that we are taking precautions to make sure that we are healthy and our family and community is healthy. So my husband was the first one to jump right on board and he took the vaccination and he was just fine and everything, but I still was a little hesitant. And I need to know more. I need to understand more. I need to be educated more. So we we met a, a, a nurse and her name is Nurse Kelly. And Nurse Kelly, um, she'll tell you more about herself. You'll get to meet her in a minute, actually. Um, she is with an organization called Black Nurses Rock. And Nurse Kelly personally came to our office and she sat down and she spoke with us. And Nurse Kelly had no idea that I was not really, really um, on board with the vaccination. Even though I want to protect my family, I want to make sure we're safe, I'm healthy and whole, the whole thing. But I need more information. And I can tell you, Nurse Kelly set me down as an African-American female nurse, professional, health professional, and she explained the whole thing to me. And when she was all said and done, I just said, thank you. But when we had our vaccination clinic, I signed up personally to take my vaccination. So what I'm saying to you, my sons, my brothers, my sisters, is I want you to seriously consider it and know that the vaccination is about your health and your well-being, and it's about your family as well. So I want to introduce to you now Nurse Kelly. I call her Nurse Kelly. She has a real full name. She'll introduce herself properly. But I want to just talk with you a little bit about what it is and why this vaccination is so important to you. Nurse Kelly? Thank you, Dr. Verna. I am Kelly Robinson. I've been a practicing nurse now for 27 years. I am president of a local Twin Cities organization called Black Nurses Rock, Twin Cities Chapter. And I'm also a small healthcare business owner. Um, it, it's an honor to be here. And of course, you know, as we learn more and more about the vaccine and the education around it, um, it's, it's just such an important topic. So thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and share with us just your thoughts about why this vaccination is so important. So I'm, I'm speaking as a black female, period, not as a nurse, okay? Uh, it's, it's important for me, important because uh, this is something that I am living through. You know, all of my life we've taken vaccinations. You know, we've taken measles, mumps, and rubella, diphtheria, whooping cough, you know, um, and we do the flu vaccine every year. And it was just something that we did, you know, like, do you have your shots? You know, the kids, they get ready for school. Do you have your shots? 
you know, and it's just a routine thing. But for us to experience how we get to it, we're living in that time. And so I know that it's frightening. Um, it's unimaginable in terms of the amount of people that have died. But when you look at the reality of it, and the reality is our families are dying and more black people than anything, more people of color, period. And those who are underserved, it's even worse because we're the essential workers. We're out there with the low paying jobs, the necessity jobs, you know, we're out on the front lines. So we are affected because if we don't go to work, we don't show up then we can't pay our bills. So personally, it's important, very, very, very important. So for me, in order for me to be out there and helping people, then I've got to protect myself because otherwise I'm going to do you harm. And it, when you look at the virus itself, um, it's just like the common cold. Whenever you say you've got a cold, people go, oh, I don't want to get it, you know, because I know how it affects me. I'm going to be sick for a whole week. It might be longer. I'll have a cough. You know, and so whenever you have those concerns with a common cold, 10 times worse is COVID-19 because you could actually die. And before you die, there are so many other things that you'll experience. And it doesn't always affect everyone in the same way, but we're not sure what precipitates that. We, we're not sure whether it is, um, you, you know, being a person of color is one of the um, high incidence, but you could be a person of color and have no symptoms whatsoever. But we know that the ratio is chances are you will. So it's just important as we move along in our lives, trying to get back to normalcy, um, that we look at how this is transmitted, what happens if we get it. Uh, things are changing quite often uh, in terms of the variance itself, because we thought we were beyond it. Okay, now we've got testing beyond us. We've got the vaccine, but now we've got the variants. So you can get the vaccine, but you still have to protect yourself because we're not there yet. And we're not there yet because people are not doing what they're supposed to do. So if we all get the vaccine and we all protect ourselves, then we can actually stop the mitigation. And that's the transference of it. And like I said, it's just like the cold. If you don't want the cold, you should feel 10 times more about not wanting the actual virus itself, COVID-19. So um, uh, that, that's just my personal in terms of the vaccine. Thank you so much, Nurse Kelly. Now I'm gonna introduce my husband into this conversation um, to have a talk and to just share his heart about this vaccine as well. And um, this is Brother Shane Martin Price and co-founder of the Power People Leadership Institute and my husband. Hey. Hello, you all. Uh, Nurse Kelly, thank you uh, so much uh, for sharing uh, to my to my good brothers there in Stillwater and in Lino Lakes and in Furboat and in Rust City, to my good brothers in Moose Lake uh, and and to the camps up north and to my sisters over there in in Shakopee. We're sending you nothing but love here uh, from our offices in North Minneapolis. I want to share with you in some ways about my heart, in some ways about how I felt about the virus and what needed to be done where it's concerned. For me, unlike Nurse Kelly, I didn't take the medical model approach to get to my understanding about wanting and needing to take the vaccine. I followed the money and I looked at what was big business doing. How was it being affected? What was happening with money, uh, the money changers? And I saw American Airlines and United Airlines and, and all the other major airlines shut down, flying nobody, getting no money. I saw uh, France and, and Germany and Italy, those, those communities and nations who rely totally on tourism shut the whole nation down, meaning there's no flow of the money. And, and I looked at uh, the businesses in the 
downtown Minneapolis area and St. Paul area that were shut down. Staff were scattered. Some were let go uh, because the virus was so impactful. Um, I looked at the money. And when I realized that money was suffering, I understood that the virus wasn't a conspiracy as, as sometimes we want to think these things are. And we're not always wrong. But in this case, when I followed the money, I realized that the, the vaccine was something that I needed to take and that I needed to be a responsible leader over the pop guys, the power of people, get leadership institute men, uh, those guys who I've been working with over the many years inside and out. We're 66 men strong. We have 58 of those men who have now been vaccinated along with their loved ones. Let me tell you this. I have 11 lifers. Uh, the, the longest serving lifer has served 38 years. Um, I have 11 lifers and my lifers are vaccinated. And let me tell you why. They didn't want to spend that much time in incarceration and make it out with a sober and sane mind and then be impacted, infected or or killed off as a result of the COVID-19 virus. And so my lifers are, are, are vaccinated uh, with Pfizer or Moderna. And, and I, I want you to think carefully before you uh, poo-poo it off as if it isn't anything or that somehow your ego or your arrogance won't allow you to get to a place uh, to get over your true fear about the, about the vaccination. Wake up, everybody. It's time to get that vaccination and stop playing games. Uh, we have a, a model that we that says we are the help that we have been waiting for. Nobody else is coming. This is why we were convinced that we had to uh, share this information with you because we recognize that we are the help. And here we are loving on you, but giving you clear information it's time to stop playing games if you want to come home safe. If you want your family to be safe, then you must think hard about getting over your, your, your conspiracy theories. For you weed smokers, you never asked what was in the weed, but you smoked it anyway. Come on now. You never asked what was in the meth, but you smoked it anyway. But now all of a sudden you become so conspiracy orientated that you don't recognize that you're flirting with your own disaster. We are the help that we have been waiting for and nobody else is coming. And in some cases, the vaccine isn't even being offered in every institution. Read up on Michigan and what's taking place there as a state and as an a, a institutional population. Read up, do your research and know that we're still waiting here for you us pop guys. This is Brother Shane Martin Price, uh, pop guy number one, signing off.